Hello everyone, this is Tim. Thank you for supporting my platform. And book two for this month is Hope on a Tightrope. I have book one for next for June already there. I'm not gonna tell you, you'll have to tune in to see. Um, the lighting is better. I'm back in my, as you can see, um, my original space. Let's get into it. To live for 244 years with no legal standing, no social status, no public worth, with only economic value means that the issue of self-identity alongside truth and justice remains central. That's why race still matters. Can America be truthful about itself and still pursue democracy? Race is the one issue that can bring down the curtain on American civilization. It has the power to generate levels of polarization that will make it difficult for us to communicate with one another honestly. It can generate levels of conflict that result in unprecedented chaos and disorder. It is our roars nerve, most explosive issue and most difficult dilemma. Immigrants who came to the United States didn't realize they were white until they got here. They had to be taught that they were white. An Irish pe peasant fleeing from British imperial abuse in Ireland during the potato famine in the 1840s arrives in the States. You ask him or her what they are. They say, I am Irish. No, you're white. What do you mean I'm white? Then they gesture toward a black man. Oh, I see your point. This is a strange land. It's easy to think that somehow because there's been relative progress for a significant number of black people, that there has been some kind of fundamental transformation. Therefore, we lose sight of the degree to which the history of New World Africans in this hemisphere for 400 years still affects us all. We want to speak to the realities of young brothers and sisters who are wrestling with self-hatred, self-doubt, self-violation, self-flagellation, and self-destruction. You can see it in chocolate cities across the board, and the white supremacy inside of black people leads us to demean ourselves and devalue ourselves. We view ourselves as less beautiful, less intelligent, less moral. The niggerization of black people, the attempt to view ourselves as less than human, and thereby require that we defer to white supremacy during authority for 400 years. Since the end of slavery, there has always been a black underclass. What is significant now is the size of it, the social gravity of it, and the frightening and terrifying responses to it. There has been a chilling realignment of the American voting public's attitude. Issues of race are now linked to public welfare so that when most government social programs are discussed by the media and politicians, they become unfairly associated with black folk and women. Class now plays a crucial role in terms of limiting life chances for black kids and black people. Gender is also a very important factor. Though the reality of racism and exclusion is undeniable, racism is not the sole problem. Usually when Americans talk about race, they are not talking about race in any kind of serious historical manner. Race is one very crucial and undeniable variable in American society, but it is inseparable from economic class and gender. Interaction between the sexes in the black community is <clears throat> unintelligible without highlighting the races and poverty ridden circumstances under which so many blacks live. Machismo is itself a bid for power by relatively powerless and degraded black men. Remember too that white perception here is principally informed by interracial relations between black men and white women. Relations in which Black machismo is particularly pronounced. There is an expectation among large numbers of white folk that black men be macho, and black men then tend to fulfill that expectation. Those who do not are perceived as abnormal. A crucial part of this phenomenon is the question of sexual prowess. If you're not a gash man, 
your whole identity as a black male becomes highly problematic. So we're working our way through. And um, hope on the tightrope. I want to thank you again for supporting my platform. Um, continue to support. Spread it around to your friends. Like it. Share it. Whatever you need to do <clears throat> to get the word out. And I want to say until next time, <clears throat> take care of your mind, take care of your body, and be safe.